here to share a few helpful tips and tricks for personalizing your spending categories and organizing them to work best for you. To start, after completing onboarding with Copilot, you can always go into the Categories tab to change your category's names, emojis, change category colors, decide whether you want a category included or excluded in your spending totals, or add categories to new or existing groups. To edit the name, color, or emoji related to a category, simply tap on the category to pull up the detail view and then tap on the field you want to edit. When it comes to excluded categories, these are great for tracking transactions that you don't want included in your spend totals. For example, you might want to track your work expenses outside of your total budget or exclude everything related to a large specific project or keep spending from a family member on one of your cards in your app but out of your budget. You can use the three dots in the top right corner of the category detail view to change existing categories to excluded or create new categories and toggle the type to excluded during creation. Another way to personalize your categories is by grouping them together. This is a great way to organize your categories as you can collapse groups to only see the sum of the spend and budget for the categories inside the group. For example, you could create a group for food and drink to put your grocery, dining, and coffee categories in or create a transportation group if you like to split your car, public transportation, and rideshare expenses by category, but also want to see a neat total of your overall transportation spend. You can add existing categories to a new or existing group via the same menu in the transaction detail view that you can use to change a category's excluded status. And here's a pro tip. If you don't care how much you spend in particular categories, for example, groceries versus dining out, as long as you spend under a set amount on food for the month, you could create a food and drink group, set a group budget to $500, for example, and then set the budgets for your categories in that group, like groceries, dining, and coffee, to have $0 budgets. This way, you have one set budget for the group, regardless of if the whole budget ends up being spent in your coffee category. You can even do this for all categories, if you want to set an overall budget without setting budgets for individual categories. Simply put all your categories in one group, set $0 budgets for all the categories inside the group, and then set a single overall group budget. Another advanced feature we offer is rollovers. Rollovers is a feature designed to roll over, under, or overspend each month in your budget. You can enable rollovers per category and group in the settings section. Just note that if you want to enable rollovers for specific categories in a group, you should also enable rollovers for the group. You can enable this feature for specific categories and you can disable and re-enable it at any time via the settings section without issue. There are so many ways to make your Copilot app your own using the categories tab. You can always check out our in-app support to view a full library of our Help Center articles and video resources, upvote feature requests, and contact our customer success team directly with any questions.